Hi guys! Today I'll show you a secret trick of the DJI RC remote control that you probably haven't known yet. Using the RC you can copy your flight footage from the drone directly to an external hard drive without having to use a laptop or computer. How this is working I'm gonna show you right now. So stay tuned! If you like what you see, then help us to grow and subscribe. Recently I went to get some great aerial footage of a really amazing medieval monastery in Germany. Believe me, I made a lot of footage. Too many footage for the mini SD card in my Mini 3 Pro. So the drone was showing me a warning message that I'm running out of storage. Unfortunately, I didn't have anything else with me than the drone, the RC remote and my SSD backup drive. As I was not finished with the flights, I had to free up storage on my mini SD card. But how? I made a function of the RC my own, so I put the mini SD card from the drone into the RC, connected my SSD by, via USB-C connector to the RC as well. All of this gave me the opportunity to transfer my footage from the drone directly to my backup SSD. I will now show you exactly how this works and what you have to consider. So my setup was the following. The DJI RC controller, which is a really awesome one with a lot of useful functions. A connection cable, but this depends to the connector of your drive. The DJI RC needs anyway a USB-C cable, but your SSD or hard drive might have another connector. In my case it is USB-C to USB-C. The SSD drive. In the best case it is a drive that does not need additional power supply. And for sure the drone with the micro SD card inside. First of all, take out the micro SD card of your drone. With the Mini 3 Pro it is a bit fiddling. Use your fingernails or another micro SD card to get it out. Starting the DJI controller. Being a bit patient because it takes a few seconds to boot up. Then taking the micro SD card. In my case it's the SanDisk Ultra with 256GB storage. The slot for the micro SD card is on the bottom of the RC behind a small plastic lid. Inserting the micro SD with the pins facing down and fixing with your fingernails. Last but not least connecting the SSD drive to the RC. Be aware you have to connect it to the host slot which is also right under the plastic lid next to the micro SD slot. Swipe then on your RC screen from the top to see the notification panel and wait until the checking process is done and your SSD drive is available. Ok, expanding the USB drive notification to see the available options. Then clicking on Explorer. As you can see a full integrated Explorer has appeared and shows the files and folders available on the SSD drive. By clicking the three dots in the upper right corner I receive further options like creating a new folder giving a folder a name. I choose DGI as an example. Clicking on the folder opens it and shows nothing as it is empty in the moment. By clicking on the three lines in the upper left corner further options appear, scrolling down to see all connected drives and disks. As I want to copy footage from the micro SD, I have to click on disk. Now looking to all available folders on my micro SD card. The flight footage normally is stored in the folder DCIM and in subfolder 100 media. Scrolling to the file I want to copy and selecting multiple by holding the finger on the file and moving over to others. Then again clicking on the three dots on the upper right corner and choose copy to. However, if you want to cut the files, choose instead of copy to, move to. Well, this is up to you. Again, clicking in the left upper corner and clicking my SSD drive, which is called expansion. Here is a previously created DJI folder. Opening it and ticking on the blue button in the lower right corner named copy. As you can see, a short note appears that says the copying process is still running. Don't let yourself be irritated. The screen automatically jumps back to the original folder of the micro SD. Okay, let's prove the files have been copied. Well, here they are. Trying to open it. Well, yes, this works fine. If you want to go back, swipe from the left to the right and here you are back in your folder. 
Good, let's then copy a larger file like video footage. So going back to the micro SD and into the image folder. Here I have a file with more than one gigabyte. Selecting it, choosing further options and copy to. And as done before, choosing the SSD drive, the DJI folder and clicking on copy. As bigger files taking much longer, you can follow the copying process when you swipe down again and check the notification screen. Okay, swiping up and checking the target folder. Well, as you can see, the full file has been copied. We're opening the file in order to prove that it is working right. Yes, it is. The recorded footage is now available on the SSD drive. Additionally, it is possible to sort the files in separate folders. To create them, just do it as before. Digging in the upper right corner and choosing new folder. I'm naming it pictures and copying all into it. As we can see after navigating into the folder, all of them are stored correctly. Yeah guys, that's the trick and also a good way to save your files even if you don't have a laptop by hand. After all, go back to the notification screen and click eject to disconnect your SSD drive from your RC. I hope this little trick was quite helpful for you. If you liked the video, then smash the like button, drop me a comment below and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, see you, bye bye.